what we do to begin with is we're going to put the crank device. A couple of pieces of wood. You want it to be very soft on the crank, but you want to get a good firm grip. Spread that apart. Put a shop rag over it. What we're going to do is we're going to use this, which is valve grinding compound. <coughs> and this is really so simple. Just a very little bit. Put it where the cam lives. Take the cam, put it on. Do one, two, three, and then one back. One, two, three. One back. One, two, three, and then one back. One, three, and then one back. When it doesn't sound ready anymore, it ain't doing anything. So, take her off. One, two, three, back, 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 one, two, three, back. And that should be it. So what you want to do is you want to just get a nice clean rag, clean it up. Make sure that we get rid of all of that grit before we do anything with that grain. A bit of paper towel because you never want that on a rag because accidentally transfer it to anything. There we go, look at that. Nice and clean. Clean the inside of the can too. And get rid of all of that gritty crap. like that. When she goes on and you set her and you give it the old whack with the back of a screwdriver, then it's going to be super tight and it will not slip when in operation. And that is how you lap a can into a crank. The only other thing you have to note is this cam now belongs to this crank. You really don't want to intermix them because the grinding compound has made this profile exactly the same as that profile. So it won't be exactly the same on another crank. So if you're going to be reassembling with a different crank, you'd want to lap your cam. Or if you're uh, using a CDI, then you would want to lap the whole, uh, the whole uh, flywheel into your new crank.